My name is Melissa Houghton. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Queensland at the Threatened Species Recovery Hub and I'm funded through the National Environmental Science Program and the Australian Antarctic Division. My project is looking at invertebrates as bioindicators of ecosystem change on islands following mammal eradication. But I think if you're interested in the world and how it works and you're a curious person then science really is where you end up. And I, I used to be an artist and I loved drawing these things and you know in details of things I could see under the microscope. I just wanted to understand what was going on, the hows and whys really. When I was a child, I was inspired to discover and explore, and that's as, as an adult, it's that same uh, curiosity that, that keeps you going now. And I feel like an astronaut of the microscopic world because I'm seeing all these things that you can't normally see, and, and when you discover something new, it's a real buzz. At one point, I became a dog handler on the Macquarie Island Pest Eradication Project, and Macquarie Island is amazing. It's, a, it's like living in a wildlife documentary. When I left there I was really curious about what would happen afterwards in the ecosystem and led to a whole bunch of other questions about uh, what goes on on these islands once you remove an invasive pest. My research is important because invertebrates make up 97% of species on Earth, so there's millions of invertebrate species. In contrast, there's only around 5,000 mammal species, so they really are really important to the Earth. A lot of islands have been invaded by non-native animals, so by removing them, uh, we give it the best chance of returning to a natural state. But we don't really know exactly what's going on in those ecosystems. So my work is looking at the invertebrates, which make up a big component of the ecosystem, and seeing how they recover following eradications of mammals, and then seeing if we can use them as indicators of the overall ecosystem health. Well, invertebrates generally um, are greatly misunderstood. There's so many of them, we know so little about them. One of the greatest myths is that they're not interesting, that they're ugly or that they're not pretty, but they're all those things. They're really incredible, they're colourful, and they're beautiful and they're interesting and very important. I'm thrilled. I, I could not have imagined myself in this situation. It's going to allow me to learn so much on invertebrate taxonomy and travel to meet experts in the field and I'm going to become wiser and hopefully be able to use what I learned to come up with better results. So it's, it's really fantastic. I'm, I'm thrilled.